welcome back in today's video we will discuss about the dynamic red web app which supports the multiple google sheets let's suppose we have two google sheets and three google sheets and four google sheets and we are able to perform crud operations on all of them sheets from a single web app if you don't watch our previous video just go to our channel and watch this video i will leave the link in the description also as well so let's move on the topic from here you will see the select sheet id what is the select sheet id basically this says that you select the sheet in which sheet you want to perform your crud operations create read and update delete options okay so yahan par usne kaha ki aapne koi bhi ek sheet ko yahan se select karna it will says select a name of your sheet in which you want to perform your crud operations so here i have two options two sheets uh, the sheet number 1 is this this is uh, i will say the sheet 1 and this is the sheet 2 and i will say the sheet 2 and i will say the sheet 2 so if i am uh, watching the sheet 1 in sheet 1 we have three forms you can see uh, i will explain in my previous video what is the link between the form and the database but most of our viewers may be new in this video so i will tell you here the form 1 is directly connected to database so what's is mean so currently here we select the sheet 1 which is basically represents this this sheet data sheet 1 okay which is basically this sheet sheet 1 and from here we you can see the automatically if your sheet have the form keyword in their sheet name this will filter the data automatically and show the drop down automatically in the form for example uh, if i add a one sheet 5 so when i am going to refresh my web app so in the form field it will not be come it will not show you will see but the sheet 5 is displayed here and if i want to show the sheet in the form column it must have a name of the form keyword in starting and i will give him the form 3 so here i adjust the form 3 and i am again going to refresh my web app so when i am going to refresh my web app you can see in my form drop down the form c is automatically add so in this video we just added a one functions more this is the data filtration process so uh, in the later uh, in uh, come in, in the later i will discuss i will explain you how it's working so first of all uh, for our uh, for our new viewers we just are explain what is the select sheet id what is the select form and what is the select database so let's see here uh, we have our database one so database is directly connected to form what it mean to say you can see id name payment mode month currency status continent here and in the database you will see also the same so when you are going to add data you can see the also the drop downs in your value so you can see the drop down the month name in the drop down and this one and the uh, uh, continent and something else like that you can enter the data so i am going to edit the jazz cache and click on the submit and when i click on the submit the data is successfully added so i enter the jazz cache so same like this form 1 is directly connected to database 1 so form 1 is directly connected to database 1 our database 1 is have only two columns only two rows so you can see here the data is comes here and on the add form when i click on the add form the form 2 is directly form 1 is directly connected to database 1 you can see id and id name is here in our database is only id or name okay so here you can add data again so uh, i am going to 3 to 4 and student name is hi and when i click on the submit and uh, it the data is successfully submitted in our google sheet and same like if i click on the sheet 2 you will see our drop downs will be changed from hr and database hr because in our second sheet 2 it only have the form hr and database hr so here we can also apply the same functions so we are going to sheet 1 and explaining and explain you what is our new features in this our new features in this for the filters data for example i want to just filter data 
लाइक इजी पैसा सेलेक्ट करेंसी लाइक इज जैस कैश आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट फिल्टर डाटा फॉर दी जैस कैश सो यू कैन सी ओनली दी जैस कैश डाटा इज हेयर सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फिल्टर दी डेटा ओनली फॉर जनवरी इन जैस कैश ऑल्सो वॉन्ट अप्लाई अ फिल्टर ओनली जनवरी सो यू कैन सी हेयर आई एम अप्लाइंग द जनवरी स्टेटर सो आई कैन सी इट हेयर so i can also edit this data easily from here when i am going to edit a student name and also something here you can see i can uh, from easy pesa and i can submit so when i am going to submit you will see my data is successfully updated select js cache you can see our select js i edit this data so same like how it's come you need to coding no you don't need to coding if you want to apply a filter you just need to go to your database and here you just copy this and here you will just paste it and here you will give name him gg and here you will give name him hh and uh, i will give him the name hh here and uh, the gg is here so here i will give him a name sample so when i am going to refresh my web app again so in our filtrations box is in our filtration drop down this sample is automatically comes you will see this sample is automatically comes and you can see also here if i want to filter the data for only g you can see my g data is here because we have only 4g okay so you will see uh, the data is here only for g if i want to click on the uh, asia you can see only asia data i will see if i click on the hhhh you can see only hh data i can see and also i can up apply the cloud operations so the multiple values do not repeat in our drop down filtrations so this is our web app Uh, for installing uh, i will also explain in my previous video how to install but we are going to uh, tell you uh, how to uh, set up in your end uh, when you go to the link from us you will see this kind of interference in your end you just click on the make a copy and when you just click on make a copy it will automatically copy in your google drive and when it's copy in your google drive you will see the name of copy of b12 multiple google sheets with filters data you just need to click on the extensions button and click on the app script button and when you click on the app script the code is already in your editor app script editor so you just need to go to your index.html and uh, below that and you will see here the sheet options the sheet id what is this this is the sheet id uh, what is uh, what's the mean your sheet id you will just go to here and if you want to add this sheet in your database so you can just copy it and paste in your and paste it here and replace it here with your sheet id okay and give him a name as per your need and same like if you want to add one more sheet you just copy this and uh, paste and, and press enter button and paste it and here go to another sheet and copy its id and paste it here and give him as per uh, uh, and give him a name as per your need so click on save button and click on new deployment when you click on the new deployment it will take some time and you select here anyone and click on the deploy icon when you click on the deploy icon you will see this uh, and when you click on or when you open this uh, link you will see your web app is here and you can see here the sheet 1 the sheet 2 we will add the sheet 3 right now so here you can see the data so that's your installation method hopefully you like our video please like subscribe and press the bell icons we are continuing providing our videos in english language as well as in hindi uh, for possibly our subscriber demands in english language so that's why we are explaining our video from now 
इन इंग्लिश एज वेल एज इन हिंदी हम इंग्लिश और हिंदी दोनों के अंदर ही वीडियोस को कंटिन्यू रखेंगे एक ही वीडियोस के अंदर हम इस तरह से लैंग्वेज को इस्तेमाल करेंगे कि दोनों ही किस्म के सब्सक्राइबर दोनों ही किस्म के यूजर्स को हमारी वीडियो अच्छे तरीके से समझ में आ जाए और इंग्लिश का लेवल भी हम आसानी रखेंगे वही विल स्पीक ईजी इंग्लिश टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर ऑल सो थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर